So guys, I know I'm about to give you the best NVIDIA control panel settings for Fortnite. In the first place, of course, open up your NVIDIA control panel and go under Adjust Image Settings with Preview and make sure that Use the Advanced 3D Image Settings is actually selected. So many people get this wrong because they think they have to go here under Preference and put it all the way to Performance, guys. But if you have it on this one, it actually doesn't use your Advanced 3D Settings. So therefore, you have to click onto it and then take me there and then you can see now you're under Manage 3D Settings. This is what you have to do, guys. Other than that, everything what you apply in here is not gonna get used for gaming. So in the first place now guys here we have image scaling which is in itself actually an insanely good mode for other games than Fortnite. Hear me out, rather use a stretch resolution than putting on image scaling. If you don't know what it is, you basically put your game on maybe something like 1280 x 720 and Nvidia is gonna try to upscale it for you so it still looks better but it's actually not running on 1080p. But a stretch resolution is a lot better. I just released a new video showing you guys the top 5 best stretch resolutions for Fortnite on low-end PCs so therefore make sure to check it out instead. Ambient occlusion you're gonna keep on off. There's basically just lighting so therefore yeah we don't recover about it too much. Antistrophic filtering and anti-aliasing modes all of these you're gonna leave on off guys except gamma correction. Gamma is basically the brightness of your overall game and this one you're gonna leave on on because actually having this off is a struggle I'm not gonna lie. And anti-aliasing mode you're gonna leave on application control because most of you anyways have it turned off in Fortnite directly so therefore just simply leave it on that so you can still use it in other games. Anti-aliasing transparency you're gonna leave on off. Background application maximum frame rate this one is actually kind of interesting because let's just say as an example that you have maybe something like Google Chrome open in the background it's gonna be locked to 20 or 30 FPS whatever guys use here so therefore you can experiment around with it for me personally I keep it on off simply CUDA GPUs you're gonna leave on all this is only really important if you have maybe multiple graphics cards in your PC something like integrated graphics on your Ryzen CPU or Intel and as a quick extra tip guys if you're struggling with ping and all of your favorite games you can actually try out the GR booster for absolutely free guys the link is gonna be in the description you can basically select one of your favorite competitive games just simply connect to it and the GR booster is gonna make sure that you have the lowest ping possible guys you can see I have only 10 milliseconds latency which is insane it's going to show you directly the connection between your PC and the router GR booster is continuously gonna look for the best server in your near guys to provide you with the least amount of ping and as mentioned try it out for absolutely free with the link in the description for me I just keep it on on DSR factors basically only work for super resolution so unless you're playing on anything higher than 1920 times 1080 it doesn't really matter keep it on off low latency mode guys this one right now here is a huge topic in Fortnite. So many pros are using it and they have huge arguments if either on or ultra feels better. For me personally guys, I always keep it on ultra. It feels a lot smoother for me. Maximum frame rate. This only really makes sense if you have overheating problems with your PC. Let's just say as an example that you're running 240 Hz then you can cap your FPS maybe a little bit higher so you still get a little bit less delay maybe on something like 280, 300. So that in some occasions where you can actually hit above 300 maybe even 500 while looking into the sky or 1v1 maps your PC doesn't produce unnecessarily pictures which is overheating your PC. For me I keep it on off here right now since I have pretty decent cooling. Multi-frame sampling AA is basically just a mode making sure that edges are not as pixelated. This is where you can see it actually the best and for games like Fortnite it doesn't really matter. Keep it on off guys. I'm gonna keep it on as everyone is anyways using performance mode. OpenGL GDI you're gonna leave on auto. OpenGL rendering GPU on auto select again. Power management mode. This one right now you guys you're gonna put to prefer maximum performance. This is super super important. So many people have this on normal put it on maximum FPS. Refresh rate. You can see it right now application controlled or highest available you of course want to put it to highest available guys just to make sure that you can use the full 144 240 or 360 hertz of your monitor shader cache size guys this one right now here you're gonna put to 10 gigs I'm gonna explain you exactly why shader cache is basically data temporary which are being created in the background on your hard drive or SSD while you're playing Fortnite and sometimes these data are corrupted because something doesn't load up properly so therefore you want to make sure to put this to 10 gigs guys to make sure that it gets cleared once in a while then texture filtering anti-strophic sampling optimization Optimization. You're gonna leave actually on off here guys. Texture filtering negative LED bias on allow. Texture filtering quality. You're gonna now put here all the way to highest performance guys. This is super super important. We don't really care about it too much that our game looks pretty. We just want high FPS. Texture filtering truly now optimization. You're gonna leave on on. This is something to do with preloading textures before you actually load fully into the game. This is super important and it's gonna reduce stutter. Threaded optimization you're gonna leave on auto. Triple buffering on off. And vertical sync now guys. You actually wanna put to off unless 
unless you have a monitor with 60 hertz that it sometimes might be helpful but if you have anything higher than that or 75 hertz you definitely should turn it off and virtual reality and vulcan opengl we don't really care about it too much so therefore just simply leave it on off or the default ones and then click apply the next up guys we're gonna go to change resolution and then you're gonna make sure that you go down to pc select 90 20 times 1080 and you want to make sure that under refresh rate you actually put it to the highest one available if some people are confused i just built a budget setup so therefore i'm right now here on a 165 hertz monitor make sure that it's actually put on the highest one guys there's so many people who have the issue that they go under ultra hd and then select 1080p and wonder oh why does it only go to 120 i have a 165 hertz monitor well you have to go all the way down here guys to normal pc resolutions and they can utilize it the next up guys here adjust desktop color settings we're gonna go over it select your monitor and please make sure that you put your digital vibrance to plus 75 percent this is the sweet spot it's gonna make your monitor look amazing just trust me there in addition to make it look even better you're gonna go here now over to adjust video color settings then you're gonna select your monitor again and this time you're gonna put your saturation actually to plus 75 percent and again this is gonna make your picture look so much better especially while playing fortnite cs valorant whatever you guys want and this is so far for the best nvidia settings i'm now going to show you additional mode how you can actually utilize your gpu better for gaming what do we want to use here now guys is the msi mode utility which you can find a link to by the way on my official website just simply click onto it and once you're now in this tool itself guys you're going to find your gpu which for me right now is the nvidia geforce rtx 3070 ti and what you want to make sure is actually click here under supported modes and see if it says msi by the way it has nothing to do with the msi brand itself msi mode is actually a mode which makes it easier for your cpu and gpu to communicate and therefore deliver a more stable performance so what you want to make sure if it says here under supported msi that you go here now to the small window which says msi and check it this is super important and then simply hit apply then you're going to close this tool already reset your pc and you're good to go if you want to do more optimizations for your windows pc make sure you check out this full guide where i optimize windows 11 or this one where i optimize windows 10.